Hello everyone, uh, I'm Atiku Rahman, and a developer certified DevOps engineer. So today I'm going to show you how you can create a successful certificate using AWS Certificate Manager, which is ACM. So SSL is a uh, key part for making a uh, secure your web application or maybe your APIs. So um, creating an SSL certificate is very important for security point of view. And AWS provides a free SSL certificate, uh, which is called Certificate Manager. You can create unlimited certificates here, and uh, it's free of charge. So I'm going to show you how you can create an SSL certificate in AWS and how you can use that certificate in your different uh, projects. So let's get started. Uh, I'm in my AWS Certificate Manager. If you wanted to come here, just type in the search bar, uh, CM certificate manager and it should show you certificate manager here if you click you come here and then list certificates if you have any certificate previously created you will see it otherwise it will be up there. now i'm going to uh request a new certificate so request here Request public certificate. So I'm going to request a public certificate and to give a TLS and SSL certificate. Click next. I'm going to give the domain name. So uh, the domain name is, uh, for example, SSL 2023. I can add multiple subdomains like SSL. 2024. As you can see, you can add multiple domains or subdomains here. Now uh, we need to um, add a validation method here. And the validation process actually results whether you are owner of the domain or you have the access to change the DNS records. There are two kinds of validation one that is DNS, another one is email. I'm going to choose DNS because that's more easier. E algorithm, um, so it's by default RSA 2048, but you can change it to a different one if you want. For the time being, I'm going to use RSA 2048. So click next. Mm, our SSL certificate is not issued because it's in a kind of a pending state and it will be only uh, active when we have made those DNS changes. So if we come to the details of the view, we will see that uh, here are CNAME records and CNAME values that we have to add in our DNS. So let's copy the CNAME. If you click this icon, it will be copied to your clipboard. And go to your DNS manager. I use Cloudflare. And if you want to use different one, then that's up to you. I'm going to show you how you can do that in Cloudflare. So let's create a, a new record here. From the type, choose CNAME and then paste the value. And now you need to copy the uh, target column here and just click the copy icon, paste it here, and turn off the proxy. Click save. Similarly, I have to copy this, add a new record, type CNAME value and I need to copy this part, paste it here and stop blocks. So we have added these two DNS records. Now what we have to do is check here and refresh this page. This might take uh, up to 10 or 20 minutes based on your DNS manager. For example, if it's uh, in a uh, root 53, it's much faster. If it's in a Cloudflare, it sometimes takes some time. If you're in a different provider like GoDaddy or Namecheap, the time may vary up to the certificate provider. So we have to wait for this. Okay, I'm going to pause the video for a few minutes. Let's see. Before SSL certificate is issued in the Okay, we see already have one certificate issued. Well, actually, one validation is successful. 
but we have to uh, get both of the uh, DNS validation needs to be succeed. Otherwise, we will not be able to use the certificate. Okay, so here it is, status issue. You click here. And it's showing. So our certificate has been issued. Now, how we can use this certificate? The certificate is issued, but uh, it doesn't give you any kind of PEM or CRT file or anything that you can install traditionally. So when you purchase traditionally an SSL certificate from the MG product, they give you PM file, they give you CRT file, certificate files, etc. But AWS doesn't give you anything. What it does is you can link this certificate, this certificate into um like in uh CloudFront, in EC2, uh, like uh, Elastic Load Balancer, Classic Load Balancer, Network Load Balancer. Elastic Beanstalk, you can take it to a uh, like uh, other AWS services, I think. So most of the things have specified. And uh, if if you are not using any of those, you're probably not able to use that this certificate. So it is not like um, other certificates that you purchase from BNAM or GoDaddy. Or that you download those and use in from them. But these certificates are only can be used in AWS other services. So let me show you how I have used it in other services. So if I go to CloudFront, here I have uh, actually in my domain. So it is, uh, it is my personal one. This is hosted in S3 and linked with uh, CloudFront. So um, then you see a lock icon, that means that the SSL is available and then the certificate is valid. So you see here, yeah. how I link this certificate, it's easy. I created the certificate uh, into Northern Virginia because CloudFront is mostly Northern Virginia. And then I created a distribution like here. And then <clears throat> the distribution, I have given the alternative domain names where I put the domains like uh, main domain and www. And I also link the SSL certificate that is coming from the certificate manager. So if I click it, please. You might see that. Um, so this is my alternative domain names and this is the certificate that is coming from my certificate manager. So. I have added the certificates previously, validated the DNS. So now it's showing in the lists. So that being said, uh, this is a short video on how you can create an SSL certificate from a W certificate manager. And uh, you can use it in CloudFront, Elastic Load Balancer, Elastic Paint Store, and all those places. So that's it for today. I hope you like this video. If you like, please subscribe to my channel and I will get more videos like this. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.